Onivia. League of Legends highlights, powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on esports. So Immortals lock in their composition. It's very similar to the last one. Three big B falls in the front line. Double Marksman in the back. Slightly different texture this time around. Jarvan's not in the top lane. No set. The bot side again. Shen can join, but so can Shogath. And here comes the engage one more time. Gonna grab him into the turret. But now that Devour is down. TP coming in. Pomother to join the mix. Can they have it? Shockwave gonna pull him in. There's blood. Two Bjergsen. Now can they get Sven? Gonna try to knock him around, but he stays away. Walter has been trying to roam, hasn't found it just yet, but now with 3v1 against Hanser, not a lot of ways out. Flash is down, he could not possibly survive this. And they're gonna make sure they give the kill over to Cody Sun. They all stop auto-attacking the choppers there to be sure about it. And Cody Sun getting his, his first kill of the game. If at first you don't see Sasana around, you can rocket for him at twice. And as long as Tom Kench is waiting, you're fine. Yep, out he goes. That's had the pulverized down, so Ola can take the shots. Now who's gonna join first? That's the real question. Bit of damage to Tom Kench, but he's TP. fine. And the TP actually pulls double cloud a bit far. Do they have the re-engage damage? The taunt to buy a bit of time. The headbutt buys a few seconds, but it won't really matter. Biofresh does not have a way out. The kill gonna come through a second for Cody Sun and the re-engage. So a bit of a 5v4. for zoning. Shockwave and Feast are up. You can't easily go for Drake in the face of a choke. I think 50 low on health. The package comes across oh. a lot of damage towards Flame as well. They force the flash out of one. Oriana on the other side. He's got to be careful though. He can be Shockwave killed. Goes for the dunk. Gets the ulti in as well from Shen. Shock, I'm not going to get the kill until it does as Bjergsen triggers the Thunder Lords. But a trade as Cody Sun now has his third. He's out of mana, but he's still got bullets. Oh, was on him, so Bjergsen was the one. Really oh, creating all of it. Flashless Oriana. Shock was not going to be enough to kill off Poe Belzer. And now a flash engage. Balfrost wants in. Is there going to be enough, though, with Shen's on the other side of the map without a way of joining? Oh, Cody Sun with three kills. Now he's got the hurricane completed. Oh, but the shock now. wave gets him, and there's no way out for Ole. Read his name backwards. Flip it around. Goodbye. He's dead. Third kill of the game. On the final stage, but this game's still incredibly close. Now Pobelter's going for one. Wants to play, gets a jelty as well, and Bjergsen does have Flash. Can he get away? Yes, he buys some time, but the shot still lands! The Trinity Force comes in on that, and now the re-engage taunt. No unbreakable will, and he is broken. The Cataclysm as well, and Hotzer has the Flash, does get away, popping the silence. Still a two for zero. Props to Immortals looking for a bit more. The knockup is in. They still want Hotzer. Watch out on the backside as Dublin looks for the duel. He might just get him. The health bar is so low for Pobelter. Staying alive in the shop. Gets it Smithy back out from under them. It's pretty cute. Watch out, Pobelter. They're no, buying Aubrey's time right now. They're trying to buy Smithy's time. Trapped. Smithy's trapped. trapped. He's been knocked up. There's no way out for him. He's going to take the shadow. The Duncan towards Hotzer. Trying to buy a few more seconds. Well, True goes down to Biofresh with the Ignite. They got no money, they got to pay for it. SM collapse in just the right way, get the feast before it can jump away. Now turn for Baron. Teleport coming in for Shen. Shockwave's gonna land the body slam, the explosive pass, and the shutdown comes through. Two unanswered kills now, as the engage might come back through, looking to shut them down. Cody Sun's got the damage up, but does he have the front line to keep him alive? A nice knock up there, they're gonna look for the Shen on this one. Flame's gonna get a help, puts the dodge on buys a few seconds. The stun comes out from Biofrost, and Hunter's on the chase. Flame's gonna be careful, Ole gonna flash, gonna pop the shield to survive the explosive charge. The knock up there, the shield comes in time, he's running away. He's gonna jump in towards Sven, and the play still towards that Baron 2000 health. Bilefrost in range, they're gonna rush it down in time. Hotzer can he feast it! Hotzer can he feast it! He's looking for the play on the kills instead! Red team picks up Baron, but the trade as Cody Sun falls. Now how good's the chase gonna be? Can Dillon get resets? Does he have assists on this? Can he hit Ole? Now he does get the uh, the reset. Won't jump the wall though. Two kills picked up. Trade though is Baron for Immortal. Make a play. Looking for the flame from Pobalt, who looks at elite double lift! Look at the damage up with their 500 left. Here comes the dunk. Look at the burst damage across. And the Valkyrie coming in for the damage. The package not quite going to kill. Just yet, but Hauser chasing the Cody's Not quite the kill, though. And now it's time to lifesteal back in the choke at the Stone Plate fades. Does not get the one shot. And he's not going to be that Cinder Cross play he wanted as Cody's son gets himself the kill. And the biggest take is gone. But the trade kill going to come into Pope Alter, But now it's double and falling. And it's only the one carry left. And it's Bjergsen looking for the play. Gets a lot of damage on Smithy. He's taking the turret. Has to flash away the zap. Not quite gonna, what does he want to feast? Feast. It'd be a triple stack either way. He's gonna look for this one. TSM he looking to burn with down feast. the dragon. Does Immortals find themselves the fight? They go for the shock with the back line. Cody Sun is gone. Ole can't save him. The Elder Dragon grabbed as well. TSM with two kills. Looking for the third, and Ole is gonna be shut down. You have to imagine the damage is there despite the shield. The pulverize is in. Three kills plus the Elder Dragon for TSM. But Pobalter, TP's top lane. Oh, yeah. Ashra can stop Hotzer, the slows are in. Look in the silence as well, gets away from the rupture. No feast for a while though, can he lifesteal tank this? He's trying, but he's getting burned down. There's no way out, Pobalter just gonna get chopped down by Hotzer, the kill as the rest of the team. They're going. Immortals is looking to disrupt this Baron. They have the damage up, but they're gonna try for this one. Damage in a file. Frost does have the ulti for a few more seconds. He has to wait, actually. Can't pop it in time, so one kill. Get excited for the Jinx, then. Lands a bit of damage. Void is up. Elder Drake just now wearing... Cobalter can be threatening. 
Here comes the push once again for this inhibitor. Middle respawns with bot lane under fire. Wages Glory pop the stun into Shen. Can't let him into the back line. And a taunt coming across, but it's both the charge. Gets him low. They're gonna go for the re-engage on Shen. Flame almost dead. Gets popped up by Ole. Now into the back line. Pobo, they're getting a duel. He's gotta watch out. Shotgun pulls back at Smithy. They're gonna knock on the juggler. Hotzler gets the feast for the kill. 5v4, and the chase continues. TSM knows they've got the advantage as the inhibitor is going to fall, and they can walk right back to the mid lane. Even a surrogate super minion sitting around. This is gonna be number two, and with 40 plus seconds left on Smithy, they could try and end the game. There's only one Nexus turret left. Complimentary super helping into the mid. Bjergsen chucked the half, but he's gonna be fine on this one. No damage that matters on a double explosive charge. Look at the damage on that turret. Two more hits from dead. It's gonna fall. 5v4 still. They're missing like Smithy. Can the backline even get some damage across? Double pretty safe. They pop the channel just to keep him alive a little bit longer. Cody Sun doesn't find the fight he needs though. Hans is still gonna be safe under this one. Here comes the CC for Bile for us to chase in and pull out through the backline. But the damage output is there, and Double takes down the Nexus. One game away from their sixth championship. What a marathon that game was, and Hauser just got too big on Shogat. The front line from TSM could not be stopped. I mean, you have a full item Jinx and Corky never really seeming to scratch the TSM front line. Part of the reason Shogat is so highly prized across the world.